Hey everybody, Eric Rant, Director of Sales with Elan. I'm joined by Mr. Jeff Kaplinski, the man, the myth, the legend. Jeff, why don't you say hi? Thanks, Eric. Jeff Kaplinski here, Senior Technical Specialist with Elan. And Eric, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to cover Intercom. Intercom is one of the coolest things, native, built into Elan, that in all honesty, we probably don't do the best job of taking advantage of. Intercom inside of Elan Really, the sky's the limit of how you can utilize it and how we can leverage it. But I'm going to kick it over to Jeff, who's going to really walk us through some of the use cases and the best examples and the best opportunities for you guys to leverage it in your jobs. So, Jeff, take it away, man. Thanks, Eric. So, to Eric's point, you know, Intercom is something that a lot has been doing forever, right? And we've we've always done very well. Back in the, the late 80s, early 90s, that's kind of where we made our mark, was doing you know, intercom from old school uh, touchstone phones and paging into audio zones. So we've taken this a little bit further on our, on our new controllers, the SC line, which dropped about eight years ago. We launched intercom. There's no additional parts needed. Um, any interface here can talk to any interface. And this is both video and audio. So I can have my cell phone. I can call my touch panel at home. I can have my touch panel call my cell phone when I'm, when I'm away. There's zero limitations. And another real cool feature that a lot of us, you know, overlook on, it's something I wanted to, to bring up today, is we can also add intercom targets from separate residences. How many of your end users have a summer home uh, as well as a winter home, right? So maybe they're during the summer, they're up in Chicago, out uh, where, you know, by me, and in the winter, the snowbirds are down in Florida. We have the option to blend two intercom targets together. So if someone rings the door station at their house down in Florida, I can have it ring on my touch panels up here in Chicago. And I wanted to show you guys how to do that real quick. So if we go into our configurator and we're under the messaging tab, there's an option here for remote system. So we right click remote system. We go to add remote target system. Basically all we need to know is the system name of the remote system that we want to add. Okay. So I go ahead and enter in my remote system. We'll enter uh, actually my house here. And then we'll see our interface target list. You can see all of my touch panels are listed. So now if I want to add my basement bar touch panel to Eric's system there in Minnesota, all I have to do is enter my credentials and I hit OK. Now from Eric's system, if I would add my interface to the target, he now would be able to talk to his touch panel, can talk to my touch panel, two different systems, as well as no limitations from iPhone, iOS, PC, or Mac viewers. One of really, really wanted to show that there's zero limitations with our intercom architecture. Eric? When it comes down to it, anything that can run a lawn is an intercom target for us. So as Jeff alluded, we can go touch panel to mobile. We can go touch panel to touch panel. We can go across various different systems. And with all of that being said, that is both inside of the home network and outside of the network. Intercom is a great opportunity for you really to leverage the horsepower that we have built into Elan that does not cost anything for you to add or upgrade onto the hardware side of the system. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully you'll leverage uh, Intercom a little more.